Hi everyone, this video is a quick introduction to the SkyShip Foundation Design Module, which is primarily used as an independent tool to analyze various foundation types, such as isolated footings, combined footings, and concrete piles. Select the design code and the unit system that you will use to design your footing. You can also save and open an existing project. Once everything is ready, you can click on Let's Get Started. In the Details tab, you can define a project name, project ID, company, designer, client, and notes for your project. The Foundation tab is where you can view, add, or remove foundations from your overall design. For this demo, we will be focusing on an isolated footing. The workflow and user interface are almost identical when designing piles and combined footings, with only a few variations in settings and inputs. The majority of your work will be done in the input tab. Following the recommended workflow, we will start from left to right, where we will modify the geometry properties, soil, materials, loads, and reinforcement. In the graphical space, you will notice a view that displays a foundation diagram, including forces, dimensions, and labels. There is also another view that shows the analysis results after running your model. If you want to toggle any items in the diagram view, use the filter button to select what you want to see or hide. Moving on to the first set of inputs, you'll notice that you can modify the foundations type. You can also modify the footings width, depth, and thickness. And also, you can adjust the same dimensions for the column, including the width, depth, height, the X offset and the Z offset. You can also modify the column shape using rectangular or round columns. In the soil tab, you can modify different properties, including the modulus of subway reaction, the soil thickness, the angle of friction, the coefficient of friction, and other properties. If you want to include the groundwater table analysis, you can click on this checkbox and modify this input field. In the materials type, you can change the concrete properties, including the type, the strength, unit weight, elasticity modulus, and the Poisson's ratio. You can also modify properties from the steel and the soil. In the loads tab, you can start defining all of the loads that you want to use to analyze your footing. You can add multiple static loads, and you can also check this button to input factor loads directly. In this case, we are only going to have two options, Ultimate and Service. For this example, I'm going to add a new load. And you can start defining actual share forces and also moments. I'll add a value of 1 for all of these forces, and you can see how they appear in the graphical interface. In the Reinforcement tab, you can modify the footing and column reinforcement. You can select the top and the bottom layers. In this case, you can modify the longitudinal top bar size and the transverse top bar size, as well as the spacing. You can modify the same properties in the bottom reinforcement. You can choose if you want to add double bars in the columns. In this case, you can modify the double bar size and the number of pieces. In the miscellaneous tab, you can modify different properties including the factor of safeties, the development length, the concrete cover, the solver properties, and the meshing properties. Once all of these uh, different data is complete, we can click on this button and run the design checks. In the result tab, you will see that each limit state has its own column, with each column showing its utility ratio. This will tell you whether each limit state passes or fails, based on whether the ratios are above or below 1. In this case, the only value that is higher than 1 is the flexure. So this means these design checks are failing. You can check the report details by clicking on this icon. This will open a full report and you can check step by step all of the different calculations that we are performing in the foundation design module. You can download the PDF report or HTML report. You can also explore the different FEA results. You can modify 
the load combination and you can check the soil pressure results as well as the wood armor results. That will wrap up this quick onboarding video of the foundation design module. Make sure to check out our software documentation for more in-depth information.